maybe that's the reason why Zhu Zhiyu uh, added lotus root starch when he made uh, ramen. Beautiful evening, uh, gorgeous sunset, marvelous lotuses. Uh, did you know that lotuses close up entirely at night? And since the sun's down, uh, it's time to chow down. The last time we were in town was last autumn, and our last meal then was a fantastic Japanese dinner uh, in the vicinity of the West Lake. Encouraged by that experience, we are going to seek out more Japanese fares tonight also in the vicinity of the West Lake. If you're a fan of Japanese food, hit that like. Out of the hundreds of Japanese restaurants in the area, I chose that place because it's, uh, one of its signatures is a dish that coincides with the theme of this series, Lotus. Uh, the dish is Jiro Wanzi Aoja, uh, probably something like uh, Renkon Hasamiyage with uh, Chukune, uh, as in uh, fried lotus roots uh, stuffed with uh, meat chicken. Uh, just like uh, many Japanese foods for an ordinary Chinese like myself, uh, it feels um, oddly familiar uh, yet strikingly novel uh, because um, traditional Japanese cuisine has been historically and heavily influenced by uh, ancient Chinese cuisine. So um, many uh, Japanese culinary icons such as uh, ramen or sashimi, um, they all have Chinese roots uh, and maybe so too the uh, fried lotus roots. I don't know, just a conjecture. Um, but just as uh, sashimi, ramen, etc, etc have been taken to new directions after uh, being brought from uh, China to Japan, so to the Renkon Hasamiyage. Uh, all the stuffed lotus roots I've tried uh, had been either packed with uh, ground pork or veggies. So one with minced chicken is uh, pretty uh, refreshing and quite riveting as well. In Chinese, the dish is known as oh, jia, uh, literally lotus sandwich. Uh, some places also call it obing, literally lotus biscuit uh, because of its disc-like shape. However, uh, Obin could also refer to uh, another food in which the lotus rhizome and uh, the meat are ground and blended together then fried like a burger patty. Uh, I wonder if that kind of uh, fried lotus root uh, is found in Japanese cuisine. I don't know. So if you know, please let me know. But what I do know is that uh, lotus root shares a connection with Japanese ramen and its Chinese root I was just talking about, at least according to one theory it does, uh, which establishes the daimyo 
uh, Tokugawa Mitsuguni as the first Japanese to eat ramen, which was prepared for him by Zhu Sunshui, uh, aka Zhu Zhiyu, a Ming China scholar who visited the island nation numerous times. Zhu ended up uh, staying in uh, Japan for the rest of his life because uh, Ming fell to the Manchus of the subsequent Qing Dynasty, so he couldn't go home. In Japan, Zhu is mainly venerated for his lasting influences on Japanese education, uh, but some might remember him as the father of ramen. Uh, when he made noodles for the daimyo, uh, he discovered that uh, flour produced from Japanese wheat didn't have enough gluten, so he uh, strengthened his noodles by adding lotus root starch, which he imported from China via the port of Nagasaki. Uh, where did his lotus root starch originate? Maybe the West Lake here in Hangzhou. That's because uh, Zhu Zhiyu was a native of the nearby city of Liu Yao, so he probably knew that uh, the lotus root has long been a specialty of the West Lake. How do you eat lotus root starch anyway? The answer can be found at the store we're going to, Jiao Tiancheng. This is an eatery specializing in oufeng, literally lotus powder. The restaurant's name refers to a symbolic meaning of lotus root. I'll write about this in the description section. Right now, let us talk about starch of the root. Generally speaking, lotus root starch comes in a powder form uh, and is turned into this viscous paste by uh, cooking with boiling water. But it will be advisable to first dissolve the powder uh, with a little bit of cold water and then add the uh, boiling water. Adding the cold water first um, would uh, prevent the powder from lumping and yields a uh, smoother consistency. Uh, lotus root starch naturally possesses this uh, pinkish tint uh, reminiscent of the uh, resplendent sunset from um, the West Lake earlier today. But this one um, has been flavored with uh, leaves of uh, Hangzhou's esteemed Longjing, as in Dragon Well tea, which is why it's green. Mm, both the uh, Longjing and the Lotus um, possess this naturally cool uh, property according to traditional Chinese medicine philosophy. Um, which is why um, this combination is a great way to beat the summer heat. It beats drinking a gallon of ice cold water. And this is not even cold, this is actually like sort of uh, lukewarm. But it works. That's the magic of TCM. If that's too magical, let's talk scientific. Lotus root contains a high amount of soluble dietary fiber, which has a bunch of benefits, many of which can be ascribed to the fiber's tendency to absorb water and turn into gel. Uh, maybe that's the reason why Zhu Zhiyu uh, added lotus root starch to uh, make up the lack of gluten in uh, Japanese flour when he made uh, ramen. So evidently, uh, lotus root is a healthy, uh, useful, and delicious ingredient. Um, as far as I know, lotus root isn't that widely found or consumed outside of Asia. So um, when you get the chance, when it's feasible, you know, come to China, you know, come to Hangzhou, come see the real beautiful China, come to Hangzhou uh, and try some lotus root dishes. Or elsewhere in our country, lotus root is used in many uh, Chinese regional cuisines. Uh, I'll probably do some videos on lotus root dishes in the future. Zai Jian.